match of the week in the BAM Created Night Series was the semi-final between ECU Joondalup and Perth at 6PR Stadium. A week ago ECU Joondalup had knocked out last year's finalists the Western Knights and this week we're looking to claim the scalp of Perth who've won the title for the past five years. In fact Perth have won the title on 12 occasions and ECU Joondalup have never lifted the trophy. Perth kicked off looking to make their sixth consecutive night series final, but their first under new coach Ronnie Campbell. But it was Joondalup who hit their stride first. As early as the fourth minute, a John Higgins corner was headed across the box by Ross Edwards. De Felice nodded to Naglieri, whose poor touch gave possession back to Joondalup. Ross Lang tried to find Scott Blackmore, but the ball fell to Thornley, and at the second attempt, only a good save from Spence prevented him opening the scoring. Perth's attacks were sporadic, but when Danskin fed Charland, he picked out Sharsha in space on the left. His pass was inch perfect to the feet of Naglieri, but Banks was quickly off his line to smother, and Joondalup cleared the danger. Banks was at his best again in the 18th minute. Simpson passed to Naglieri, whose first time ball found on a foro, who bamboozled Edwards with his fancy footwork, avoided McGee's lunge and was only denied a wonderful goal by Banks' agility. Two minutes later, Thornley picked up the ball for Joondalup and ran across the defence before picking out Higgins in space. He ran at Simpson and then opted to lift the ball back to Thornley, who while controlling the ball on his chest was body checked by Batchelor. The referee waved the penalty claims away and Perth survived another scare. But two minutes later, they found themselves a goal behind. A long free kick was only half clear by Kilkelly. Simpson managed to clear at the second attempt, but Kelly claimed for Joondalup and fed Benson Cooper, who cleverly found Thornley. He looked to hammer the ball, but instead side-footed past the prostrate Spence, a sublime finish for the informed striker. Benson Cooper draws two Perth defenders before finding Thornley. He surges into the box, shapes to shoot a cross goal, Spence anticipates, and calm as you like, he side foots home. Thornley's class clear for all to see. Perth were being forced back, but they too had their moments. De Felice found Batchelor in space who threaded a pass to Naglieri, who in turn fed on Aforo, who pushed his shot the wrong side of the post, despite his being ruled offside. A long throw by Wiley as half-time approach was flicked on by Thornley and headed away by Shah Shah. Batchelor's air swing exposed Spence, who had left his goal, but Lang lifted the ball onto the roof of the net rather than into it. In injury time of the first half, Perth kept possession well. Naglieri made space for himself before finding Onoforo. He played the ball to Charland looking for a 1-2. Joondalup's defence went with Onoforo and Charland unleashed an unstoppable drive to get Perth back on level terms. Joondalup's defence drops off Charland. He looks up, assesses the situation and shows his quality with an outstanding strike to pull Perth level at a vital point in the match, right on the stroke of half-time. The second half was a mirror of the first, with Perth the dominant side and making the Joondalup defence earn their crust. In just the eighth minute after the restart, Charland tried his luck again. He had Banks scurrying, but was wide of the mark this time. On the hour, Naglieri, who was being given too much time and space, started to pull the strings in midfield for Perth. He slipped the ball through to De Felice, but he too pushed his shot wide of the goal.
Five minutes later, De Felice found Shah Shah in space on the left, who played a superb pass into the angled run of Charland, and only Banks' superb reflexes saved Joondalup from going behind. Perth were well on top, but Joondalup's defence was resolute. De Felice fed Naglieri, who once again found Onoforo, who looked a certainty to score, but McGee recovered superbly to block his shot, and another chance had gone begging for Perth. In the 75th minute, De Felice left the ball to Charland, who passed to Bachelor in space, back for De Felice who slipped the ball to Naglieri. A touch by Charland, and Naglieri put on a 4-0 one-on-one -on -one with Banks again. He saved superbly. The ricochet came to Charland, but Banks saved again. De Felice tried his luck, but McGee's backside was in the way, and Joondalup hammered the ball clear. It fell to Bachelor. He tried his luck from long range, again to no avail. Perth just kept attacking. Kilkelly headed clear and Shah Shah robbed the impressive Steins and fed Danskin in space. He beat Wiley but with Banks advancing shot over the crossbar. In the 85th minute Danskin scuffed the ball to Charland who cleverly fed De Felice. He made space for a shot and only another piece of Banks brilliance stopped Perth snatching a winner. Just two minutes later, a Simpson free kick was won by Edwards. Steins lifted the ball forward and Thornley flicked on. Kay and Simpson collided and the ball was left for substitute Pope to coolly slot past the despairing dive of Spence for Joondalup to steal the lead and possibly the game. Pope's introduction proving to be an inspired substitution. A clever flick from Thornley but dreadful communication between Kay and Simpson gifting possession to Pope, who stayed calm and coolly finished past Spence. Perth kept pressing as the final whistle approached, Shah Shah shooting over from the edge of the box, and from the resultant goal kick, the final whistle sounded, and Perth were left to rue their missed chances. Joondalup will meet Florida Athena in the final and 2011 will see a new name on the BAM Creative Night Series trophy. Now Sid, Perth have dominated the last five night series. How much confidence will this give you coming into the final knowing that you've beaten? Oh look, you know, I've always said Perth were the benchmark for the, for the league and everything and uh, we're improving every year. Uh, you know, last year privately I thought we underachieved at fifth. I knew we were better than where we were, so we're progressing well. Training's good, you can see the efforts of the lads, fantastic, great team spirit. And John Thornley, eight goals in five games, how important has he been to yeah, you coming he, back from the Victorian Premier Yeah, he's, he's an important player, but only, you know, only part, he, he understands that. He can't score them goals without the, um, the efforts of his teammates. And I, I think the work rate for, for John, including you know, young Ben Owen and uh, Brooksy has been phenomenal. So no, John, John is going to play A-League, I keep saying that, but not, not quite yet. And uh, you're taking on Florida Athena next week, yeah. on 4-1 today, how are you going to prep for that one? Yeah, so the same thing, we, we just, um, I said right from the start when they asked me, you know, we said we'd like to win it, and, and we haven't changed right from the start, I've played, I've always played the strongest side I've got available, uh, every week, and uh, we want to win the competition, Florida, I've watched them today, no change there, they're a good side, they move the ball well, uh, it makes it even better. They've got an ex-ECU player in Garen Collins who scored two. So, yeah, you know, we're, we're planning, we're planning to win the game. <laughs>